Good day, viewers. Walker here. Doing a bit of the vlog. I'm stuck on the porch and in the house on a very rainy afternoon. Today we're going to talk about the goat man. Talk a little bit about how I killed too much grass out here in my yard. I appreciate you tuning in. Your comments are welcome. I appreciate you participating in my videos. I appreciate all your support by watching my videos. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, my friend. As you'll recall, last week when I was out here with my weed killing sprayer, I got a little carried away, I guess. I got dead grass all up and down the drive walkway here. Shows that my roundup does work out there around the bird bath is all dead. Up and down the fence line is dead, so my weed killer kicked in. I was a little carried away around the walkway out there and almost killed the rose bushes. Yeah, all the trees over there that I sprayed are vines along the fence line look like they're dead. I still haven't got out there to do my sawing. These plants right here by the porch are wildflowers. They were sent in a little envelope from one of my viewers. It was real late in the summer when I planted them. But maybe they'll bloom before the year is out. Well, I'm on the porch watching it rain. I got my earphones on. Listening to a Braves doubleheader with the Phillies. They got rained out last night. In yesterday's vlog, I mentioned the goat moon. I'm referring to my generator trailer, and I don't think I'll get much work done on it today. I wanted to get out there at the garage and work on it, but since I work outdoors there on my saw horses, you can't exactly do that in the rain. But as for the goat man, I thought I'd talk a little bit about him. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that I remember him, and what I'll tell you what I remember. I remember all the kids in the neighborhood running out to the road, in front of our main road that ran through McCray, Georgia. We'd run out to the road when we heard him coming by. I remember a couple of instances when he came down the road. And for months after he came by, you could see the ruts and the asphalt with his metal wheel carts uh, left the trail coming down the asphalt road. But he was a colorful old character. He fancied himself some kind of preacher. He was an old man. You know, he seemed old to us at the time. I think he lived on quite a few years. Died down in Macon, Georgia. If you ever get a chance to go on Google and Google the goat man in Georgia. And his name was Charles McCartney or something like that. He fancies himself some kind of preacher, and he had a sign on top of his wagon. It said, prepare to meet thy God, and stuff like that. He preached in different towns, uh, preaching the gospel. And, you know, he was a smelly old man. People come around to listen to him. It was quite a show for different towns in the south, and he didn't just stay in Georgia. He traveled around several states. He was robbed and mugged a few times. Connie got hurt so bad he had to be put in a nursing home his last 15 years or so. But if you go on Google and do the goat man in Georgia, and then click on images up there at the top of the search bar, you'll see lots of pictures of him. And some of those pictures uh, he's exactly like I remember him, especially his cart. I remember watching him go by and all the kids would kind of laugh and giggle. There goes the goat man. He's going to, goat man is going to get you. And things like this, you know. And we just thought it was a, really something interesting to look at to watch the goat man going by. And he had 
a whole bunch of goats pulling this cart. This is something you won't see much ever again. He was kind of like a hermit. He lived alongside the roads and camped out in different areas. I think he probably traveled eight, ten miles a day. But when it's 365 days in a year, you can travel a long ways. And it makes an interesting read if you ever go on Google and read up about it. This Wikipedia has some stories about it. Check it out sometime when you got nothing else more interesting to do. I'm stuck in the house here. Unable to do diddly except watch the rain come down. Not a whole lot of vlog today. I'm glad to see on the news that the people in Texas are finally getting their water level going down a little bit. And hope everything gets back to normal for them over there pretty soon. I guess it's going to rain here all day. We don't need to worry about any kind of floods like Texas and Louisiana is getting, but we're definitely getting some of the rain. That's P. Walpark. Signing off.